It is section 4.3, cosine Newton methods. The major issue with uh, Newton's method is that we need to compute the inverse Hessian metric. For machine learning applications, the dimensionality of the problem can be of the order of a thousand or billions. So the computation of a Hessian and its inverse is often very expensive and even impractical. Because of these reasons, Newton's method is well used in practice to optimize large problems. Luckily, Newton's method can still work even if the Hessian is replaced by a good approximation. Here in this section, we'll study uh, one of the most popular cosine Newton method um, called the BFGS algorithm. In 1970, four people, Broyden, uh, Fletcher, Goldfarb, and Shano, published their uh, papers independently, and we give them credit, and the algorithm is named. Uh, taking their, uh, the initial letter, BFGS algorithm. The key idea in the algorithm is now uh, we try to use gradients uh, to construct an approximation of the Hessian. As a byproduct of the gradient method, we evaluate gradients many times. So we'll use them to construct an approximation of the Hessian. Here we have um, the derivation of a BFGS algorithm. As uh, for gradient descent method and Newton method, we start with a surrogate function. Here, Qn of x is now given uh, in this form with Hn. In Newton's method, Hn is Hessian. Now we'll try to uh, approximate the Hessian. So it is uh, an approximation of a Hessian matrix. And, and during the derivation, we'll try to construct Hn. A reasonable thing to ask to this surrogate is that uh, the uh, gradient uh, coincide with uh, the gradient of f at last two iterates, xn plus 1 and xn. So for uh, the qn plus 1 and the gradient the measured at xn plus 1 and xn is the same as the gradient of f at the same points. That is a requirement. Now here, and from the formula here, qn plus 1 can be written in this way. That is uh, the rewriting of that um, surrogate function with uh, n uh, replaced by n plus 1. Now, the gradient of qn plus 1 and at x n plus 1 minus gradient of qn plus 1 at xn, uh, if you do algebraic computation, then you can reach uh, that one. Now, this uh, difference must be same as the difference here, so we can get that equation. This is called the sequence equation. Now, for simplicity, we are using here now new notations. Uh, Sn is defined to be that portion. Yn is defined to be uh, that portion. Then, now, the sequence equation can be written in this way. Now, this one requires to satisfy curvature condition. Now here, uh, yn.sn uh, is positive. Uh, 
with which uh, hn plus 1 uh, becomes a positive definite. You can easily check that if you multiply Sn transpose in the left hand side over there, then that is same as Sn yn dot product, uh, that is same as this one, so that Sn dot hn plus 1 Sn is same as yn dot Sn. Uh, not, not that is uh, required condition, coverage condition, so that mm, here uh, it is imposing uh, positive definiteness of HM plus 1. Now, uh, furthermore, in order to maintain the symmetry and positive definiteness of a, the, the uh, Hessian, the the approximation of a Hessian matrix HM plus 1, uh, we obtain uh, HM plus 1 uh, using this formula. These two are uh, rank 1 matrices. Now, using earlier conditions and this equation, uh, one uh, solution for that equation can be organized in this way. Now, uh, along with that, uh, the solution, the earlier uh, things are well satisfied so that it is a solution. Now, uh, one more reason we start with uh, uh, in this form for HM plus 1 is now we can apply the Schumann uh, uh, Morris formula to get its inverse. Once it is given in this way, then by using the formula, we can get its inverse. Here, let Bn is inverse of uh, Hn. Then, now, Bn plus 1, which is inverse of Hn plus 1, can be written with this formula. And once we know in the inverse, earlier inverse, then uh, later inverse can be gotten along with this algebraic manipulation. So inverse can be easily updated. So uh, in this derivation, um, one is uh, to maintain the symmetry and positive definiteness, and second is to get inverse of approximated Hessian uh, easily. So by using this formula, we can uh, update the inverse. Okay, now we are ready to summarize the PFGS algorithm. At the nth step, and first we obtain the search direction Pn, that is now uh, minus gradient uh, times Bn, which is uh, inverse of Hn. Now, try to get um, gamma n through line search, and we define here Sn is gamma n Pn. Now, uh, Xn is updated using Sn. Now, we compute to Yn. And here we update uh, B, so B n plus 1 is by using the formula, we can update B n plus 1, and that will be used to in the next iteration. So that is now the uh, BFGS algorithm. Here, the BFGS algorithm uh, begins with uh, B0. Uh, which is an estimation of uh, H0 inverse. And it is often better when B0 is gotten here H0 inverse. Uh, that means that try to get here very accurate uh, inverse and try to get accurate uh, Hessian at the beginning point and then here uh, accurate uh, inverse is obtained then later on along with uh, B0. Now B1 can be gotten 
more accurately and so on so that it's better to use uh, very good uh, uh, inverse in the beginning. The rejecting algorithm is uh, a method uh, which combines the, the effectiveness of gradient method with uh, now the uh, variable component speed of uh, Newton's method. So um, each iteration it is uh, inexpensive and number of iterations is not so large, more or less around uh, that of um, Newton's method. Okay, let's see uh, here example for uh, the well-conditioned uh, uh, quadratic objective function after three iterations uh, it has located the optimal point for fully conditioned quadratic problem here after two iterations uh, it could find the minimizer and for the non-convex objective function here I believe there is 18 iterations or 17 iterations to uh, locate the uh, minimizer and this is um, uh, now, uh, in this lecture note, we try to show the performance of uh, various algorithms. Now, uh, this um, BFGS algorithm is the first algorithm um, so far to locate the minimizer. Um, here, uh, in most cases, the BFGS algorithm converges uh, quite fast uh, with a converge that is uh, more similar to Newton's method than to the gradient descent method. Uh, this is the end of the section. Thank you.